Good morning, hello, good evening, wherever you are in the world, it's time for a new vlog. You guessed it by the title, it's a ram-packed one, so I thought I would take you guys along with me. Bought a new sweater, love it, that's a bin bag because I'm currently cleaning up. Okay, so get ready for this. Da -da 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 -da. Leave your comments below, what does this mean? This, this means, I'm going to pause, write your comment. Da -da -da. This means we are buying a new car in London and we need a steering lock. It's very ugly, but it's safe. So that is what we're going to do today. We're going to collect our new car. Oh my goodness. We bought this car over a year ago and we're only just going to collect it today. So this arrived because basically cars always get stolen, which is kind of crazy. Um, and I can't wait to take you guys, go and check out the car, very nervous. I have an amazing road trip this weekend, so I can't wait, perfect timing, right? You have to do this every single time we lock the car, which is a faff, but it's gonna protect it. Someone also told me to buy air tags to track the car. I don't know if that's a, that's a good thing, but it's not like the craziest car in the world, it's just apparently cars get stolen all the time in London. I've been away to America for quite a while, and I came back to Gorgeous Roses, so I'm glad that they're alive. Kitchen is looking beautiful. Okay, before we go, my friend's been staying here and her boyfriend left his shoes here. <laughs> These very vibrant, vibrant shoes, hello. Um, so before we go and collect the car, I need to pack. So I basically unpacked from America and I've repacked. The weather's meant to be really bad in Scotland this weekend. Pray for us, manifest good weather. We're going to St. Andrews, have never been to St. Andrews. Very, very excited. I'm taking the biggest case with so many new clothes because I'm so excited. So I'm praying for sunshine so I can wear them. If not, I'll just wear them and put a jacket over them. So I'm gonna quickly finish packing. I know my mom taught me that I figured why we fool around so little and we keep You would think that after all of these travels I was getting better at packing. The answer is no. I'm getting worse. Like I have got so much stuff for I feel like we're only going away to Scotland for like four nights and I've got way too much stuff. Something though that always has to come with me and I bought this cute little case for it which I'll link the case below, is my vitamins. If you watched any of my Instagram stories when I was in America, you'll know that this little case came everywhere with me. Basically, I take my vitamins every single day and I have been taking vitamins for years and years and years. I swear it's the only thing that has made my hair grow. I feel like it makes my skin glow. I just feel like I probably don't have the best diet and I probably don't get all of the nutrients into my body that I should do with my diet. And I went to see my hairdresser. I'm gonna show you the exact ones that I use. And my hairdresser was basically like, this is the first time, this was a while ago now, this is the first First time that your hair has actual new follicle growth and I was like excuse me um, and she was like I don't know clearly you were missing something in your diet and now you've obviously put it back in your diet so I don't know I personally am massively into my daily vitamins my brother actually introduced me to this brand years and years ago if you check my Amazon order history I have genuinely bought so many vitamins from this brand so they're called Solga and they are a family run company. They've been going since 1947 so to be honest they know their stuff and I'll basically show you my little shelf which has my bits and bobs in. So I don't have to go off them for a week I can pop them in here and pop them in my suitcase. I actually made myself a little cute cupboard with all of my faves in. So vitamin D, it's vitamin D3 and it's suitable for vegetarians, sugar, salt, and starch free. As I say, Solga have been going since 1947. Like they genuinely know their stuff and obviously you can check everything. You take it as a food supplement for adults, one vegetable capsule per day at meal time. So I just take this first thing in the morning, every single morning. And actually, if you look online, vitamin D is recommended to take. I'm not a doctor, so please do look online, speak to a medical professional first. But doctors that I do follow on Instagram and stuff, they do recommend getting vitamin D. I believe, don't quote me on this, but the UK we don't get enough natural vitamin D, so that's why people recommend that we take vitamin D, it's the vitamin that you get from the sunshine, and obviously today it's sunny, but it's not usually. This is the one that I rave about, skin, hair, and nails as well. This is just one that I take every single day just for like general life, and this one is one because, hello, give me the skin, nails, and hair formula, please. MSN, vitamin C, zinc, and amino acids. And I take this one, two tablets daily at meal time. So I just take two of these and one of these. And then we've got these ones as well, which are also in my collection. This is basically a multivitamin, which is very good for everything. Like I say, these are the two that I take daily. And then these are the ones I dip in and out of when I feel like I need them. So hopefully that's a bit of a nice chat about that. Now I'm gonna finish packing and then let's go pick up the car. Okay, so it's our last journey in this car. How long have we had this car for? 
five years now. Five years, and you know the funny thing, I only just got confident driving it. <laughs> Which is so ridiculous. The amount of times that I've had to just jump in it and drive to meet the builders when we were renovating and shell home, and the amount of times that I was driving to the garage now, by the way, to pick up our car, our new car, and the amount of times that I've had to like drive my friends to the Cotswolds recently because they're American and they don't drive here, so I just had to face a fear and go for it. So, this is a manual car and we are swapping to an automatic which i'm really scared about and we're basically selling this car so we need to go and get this car checked first it passes the vibe check we get the money to put towards the new car i can see our car inside here i got to say we've had the worst service from the company that we're actually buying this car from like my mum and set red warned me and a lot of other people warned me it's been really really bad like Say goodbye to this gorgeous car, it's actually from Mini and we always had such good service from Mini, I've had Mini since I first ever got a car when I was 16, I actually had three Minis and I feel quite sad for my Mini journey to be over but truly they have been phenomenal so thank you Mini for giving amazing service, this is a country man, it's like a 4x4, great service, great customer service and just beautiful easy cars to drive, I feel like I've just grown up with Minis, bye baby! <laughs> Oh my gosh, we got to in 2017. Moment of truth. Going in for the very first time. It's so fresh. Not a bad road trip. First road trip in the new car. Gorgeous. What a night for our drive. Good morning! You guessed it by the title. Our first road trip in the new car is Scotland. We arrived super late last night to St Andrews. Basically we picked up the car from London and then we drove to Yorkshire because it's kind of like a halfway point. It's basically like about nine hours from London to get to St Andrews. So we drove like over four hours to my family home, had a few hours there, had a sleep there and then drove to Scotland at like Oh my gosh, 6 p.m. last night and we arrived at like half past midnight. So we're very tired, but we are gonna go explore, have a nice walk to start the day, and then I am gonna work out. But I just really quickly wanna show you the view and I really quickly wanna show you the bathroom because the bathroom in here is insane. And then when we go out for lunch, I will give you a little car tour. This is so perfect, it literally looks fake. Wow, guys. Look at this bathroom, it's so beautiful. It's literally huge, we both walked in and we were like, wow. So we are staying at the Fairmont St. Andrews and the third night obviously paying guests, but there's gonna be a little ad PR on the screen, but it's kind of ad PR, it's kind of not, but always meant to be safer than sorry. I've got loads of my favorite beauty things. Clay de Poe, Solga, as you guys know, my favorite got them in this little case so I've got my skin hair and nails and my vitamin D with me because they're the ones I'm trying to take every single day I'm gonna leave a code on screen if you guys want discount because you can get 30% off the entire site of full price products which is amazing and I'll link this if you guys want it, it means that you can still take your vitamins on your travels because for me it's a non-negotiable going on a morning walk doing some kind of movement drinking more water having my vitamins and then I've got some gorgeous products from Clinique and Fresh and Rose Gold. You guys know I love Clinique. When I got this out, Matt was like, oh my God, I'm so glad you got that. It's my favorite. So we love Fairmont. I used to stay at them a lot in the US. And I've heard this is literally one of the best Fairmonts ever. So let's go and explore a bit. Go wake ourselves up with a bit of a walk.
So we just got back from our walk. I am struggling with a hay fever, if you can hear my <laughs> voice. It was very windy, but oh my goodness, guys, look at this. We got room service. Matt got the full Scottish. Matt, I think that's like eggy bread. I think that's like fried bread, which is like my favorite thing ever. My mum used to make it. Oh, I don't know. It looks like eggy bread to me. And then look at the toast. Wait for this. Look at the fruit platter. I got continental breakfast. This is probably one of the best breakfasts I've ever had in a hotel with this stunning view. Guys, it's worth staying here just for the breakfast. I got this cute, cute outfit and I'm going to go do a workout. That breakfast was so nice, by the way. I'm going to link everything I mentioned below, but this set is glorious. Just sat in the gorgeous relaxation room after a massage. So beautiful. Good afternoon from the most beautiful St. Andrews. I have had such a relaxing day. Started with a coastal walk, had an amazing breakfast in bed at the Fairmont, and then I've been using the gym, the spa. I've had an amazing 80 minute full body massage with S Spa. They used this amazing scalp scrub, so I just really quickly washed my hair and blasted it. So that's why it's a bit frizzy. But we are now heading in the car to go and enjoy a little bit of St. Andrews, go and explore. We are actually here for a wedding, I can't remember if I said, so I'm quite sad, I don't think we have as much time as we would like here actually. We should have in hindsight come for way longer, but we'll go see what we can see whilst we are here. The wind seems to have dropped, I mean it's because we're not on the coast right now, but ah, gorgeous. I've been waiting for a little look at the gorgeous interior of our new car. It's already got Matt's golf clubs on the back, we've got lots of towels down. But I'm sorry, how stunning is this interior? Very happy, it was a very comfortable, very long journey, but the armour is so insane. Okay, so, one of the best followers ever, have we seen this? Oh my goodness, look at this list of places to go in St Andrews. Okay, I need to come back for an entire week. You guys sending me stuff like this, thank you. Wow, wow, wow. What a list. Oh my gosh, a beach! I want to see the beach I can tell it's getting to see. Wow! So many of you guys recommended that we come here, so let's have a look. Guys, look at this! So much choice! Sourdough pizza! Oh my gosh! Oh! As if they do, they do stuff that's not just um, sweet to decide and there are literally so many flavours in here so they let us taste flavours you can taste up to six so we went for cookie dough this is a pre-dinner snack and everyone recommended this place so very excited okay you can do the honours you can take the first bite <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Mm. is it good yummy <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. So good. Chocolate peanut peanut butter. Also tasted tomato. Mm. Everyone's recommended this spot for brunch or dinner, so if you're looking for somewhere, this is apparently the spot to go to. The houses here are absolutely amazing, and anyone that knows me knows I am a royal family mega fan. I've already had messages telling me to get fish and chips at the place that Will and Kate actually bought a helicopter to the other day. And Will and Kate apparently lived on the street in their second year of uni, so like the freaks that we are, we are walking down the street. I bet there'll be loads of people like taking pictures outside it. There's a street. Literally, how stunning is the architecture here? Very, very beautiful. It's a beautiful street. Gorgeous. So my Scottish friend always used to make her own fudge and tablet when I lived with her in Canada. And we have to go into this store. Some incredible alcohol in here, all Scottish. What a gorgeous store. These look incredible. These are not the nicest bottles you've ever seen. I want every single one. On the 
way back to go for dinner. We have stopped off at a beach. This is called, I believe, I feel like everyone actually recommended like West Sands Beach. This is East Sands Beach. I think West Sands. I'm sure Lauren said it's actually the other side of the hotel. I could be completely wrong here. Um, and I think that's where the cheese toasty shack is. Is it West Sands Beach? I don't know. But right now we are at East Sands Beach and I just thought we'd pop over and have a look at it. guys this is a grilled cheese sandwich i think they actually have two spots it's called the cheesy toast shack fortunately it's closed right now but we will come back tomorrow should we see what they do they do mac and cheese mushroom and camembert ham cheese and pickle Going for dinner now, and I put some curls in my hair and put this dress on, which is actually backless. Gosh, it's gorgeous. We eat to get the St. Andrew's Bar and Grill, which is meant to be amazing for lobster and steak, so I'm really excited. Let's go get dinner. We have arrived. This is absolutely beautiful. kids area in the hotel <laughs> this is so good this is for xboxes they have this this and then wait obviously no one's in here right now because it's late but this is so cool if i was a kid wow matt matt's clearly living his best life in here morning beautiful scotland good morning my love same outfit as yesterday it is so cold outside beautiful but cold matt's just been to the driving range at the hotel had a lovely but very 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 cold day and i have just been to the gym so now we are going to pop downstairs and get some breakfast and then we have the wedding today but we're going to go and explore st andrew's a bit more first things that I thought were hash browns and they put it on Instagram and apparently they're called tatty cakes or like potato cakes anyway they are divine I asked my Scottish friend Jake how many am I meant to eat he was like as many as possible because like I don't know what the average person is, eats you know like what's the etiquette you know like when you're having avocado toast you'd have two slices maybe three I had like eight of them they were so good we also met the food and beverage manager he was so lovely he actually worked in Jasper in Canada which always makes me fangirl because I love Canada. Now we are just at Balgo Blada and if you guys watch my housewarming vlog TJ the amazing cocktail expert told us to come here so it's gonna be good. We don't have much time before the wedding but we just want to do a quick explore so it's meant I think it's kind of like a Dalesford um, farm shop, deli, they have like a state barn. I just want to have a little walk around. Look at all of the other things. We should buy some stuff. So kind. My God, Matt, these are the nicest oils I've ever seen. Oh my God. Should we buy one for Jay as a present? We probably should. They have the most incredible pasta I've ever seen here. Wow. That is literally stunning. The branding of this place is truly divine. Go. 
guys, look at this, the honey, how do I? Matt's found the gym that he wants, golf gym, cute. Honestly, I was gonna get these when I saw their baby did York, sure that's so funny. Some treats, got some treats. It's a little bit early, but if we had time for lunch, we would absolutely go here because TJ said this spot is unbelievable, so next time, definitely. Trying to go to West Sands. Let's go. <gasps> what are they doing? Putting. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's the hotel, the old course. Turn left onto West Sands Road. And everyone's just going around putting. Guys, we're at the old course. That's <laughs> very excited. Super famous for golf, right? This is probably the most famous course in the world. I oh, know, our Scottish friend this morning texted us Jake and he's laughing so much. He's like, yeah, the reason I'm so good at golf is because it's so windy. Um, so we have just gone, we went to the Belgrave Florida, which is amazing. I bought lots of gifts for people back home. So beautiful. Just like a really stunning but affordable Dalesford. And now we, oh, this is a coffee shop. It's owned by the Cheese Toasty people. So there's a famous place that you guys on Instagram have been telling me about called the Cheesy Toasty and it's next door I believe. And unfortunately it's closed due to high winds today, which I'm so sad about. Um, however, this is Proceed meant to be the to most the beautiful beach. So you know yesterday I was like, guys, I think we're at the place. Apparently the beach we were at Proceed yesterday wasn't as beautiful as this one. So even the guy in the hotel said we have to come to this beach. So we're gonna grab a coffee, Proceed maybe a cake. Sorry, that's a sat nav. Have a quick walk along the beach and then we'll go to the Cheese Toasty Shack and then go we'll get ready for the wedding. Was it, man? Oh, it was like basically pennies compared to London. So we were saying it would be £7.80 for two drinks and a, a brownie. And well. how much do I pay in London for one well, matcha? Brownie would be £7.80 alone. I know, that's so. ridiculous. <laughs> so we just sat up the north. Up the north way. Cheers. <laughs> okay, let's get the brownie out. I want to see it. We've got a Kinder brownie. Oh, I got my nails done at Ragdoll Nails in Leeds, by the way, guys. Please go see Laura, she's amazing. Brownie's amazing, nails are amazing. What's that? What's that on the right there? I don't know, what is it? No, you, you know what it is, what is it? God's golf course? No, it's the home of golf. <laughs> is it actually though? Yeah, it's the home of golf. I wonder if that's the hotel or if that's a golf club then. Ask most pros are the favourite courses and they'll probably say so. Really? But I feel like the one at our hotel is way prettier, not gonna lie. So we're back at the one that's open today, and here we are, getting the toasty. <laughs> Matt's still analysing the cheese toasty. I just think they could quite easily just do it. You just need a little bit of cheese on the outside to crisp up, crisp the, the toast on the outside, and then. It is quite better. crisp, yeah, it's just, uh. it's just... No, no, it's not crisp, it's dry. <laughs> the bread is dry, it's not crisp. <laughs> it's good, but the problem is I am a mac and cheese connoisseur. Like, I genuinely am. Oh yeah, the mac and cheese is average, but it's quite nice in the taste. Yeah, like I'm, I'm a mac and cheese connoisseur, and also I don't know if you guys remember, but I used to have one of those machines where you like put your cheese toasty in and you press it down and it makes them into, into like pockets. And they're like, and then the cheese is like almost burnt because it's so crispy and crunchy. Yeah, it's like those special toasty machines where you make like oh, paninis yeah, yeah. and toasties. Yeah. And they're just so good. Um, so it's good, but I feel like maybe we just got them on a bad day because it's definitely not as cheesy and stringy as it looks on their Instagram. By the way, guys, sorry, just look at the colour of this car. Love it. Definitely. No cheese toasties allowed in here and like, the other half of the cheese toasty is currently sat on me. We are heading back very full. One Kinder Brownie, espresso, huge breakfast this morning. About 100 potato tatties or tatties or whatever they're called, Scottish tatties. 
and a mac and cheese toasty. I don't, I'm just gonna be bursting by the time we get to the wedding. Heading back to the hotel now because we then have to get ready and then we're gonna get a cab. It's literally a five minute drive over to the wedding. So I'll show you some wedding dress options, but I need to go curl my hair, do my makeup and get dressed. Outfit option one, I've not fastened it up, but this is like a gorgeous lace dress. Or number two, incoming. Or this one, which honestly, if you're gonna order it, size up. Because seriously, I have the biggest back um, and I can't fasten it properly, so I'm gonna have to go like this. But I really like this dress. I think it's absolutely stunning. They did it in loads of different colors as well. Just brushed my hair out and we need to go. So I think I'm gonna go for this one. I put my little pendant on. We're gonna go downstairs and get a taxi. Goodies for the wedding girl and guy. Lots of goodies. We have arrived at the beautiful wedding. nothing to do with alcohol. I felt quite ill at like 11 p.m. and I had to get in a taxi home because I just felt sick and then by midnight I was projectile vomiting and had the chills and I don't know but I think I have food poisoning. Someone messaged me on Instagram saying that kinder has been recalled for salmonella and I did have a kinder brownie earlier in the day so no idea. Nothing to do with the hotel because we were out all day yesterday eating a lot of stuff then at the wedding which was amazing something just hit me at 11 and I was like oh my god the music I'm gonna be sick um and I probably stayed up for like five hours being sick so I'm gutted because we've had to basically cancel our day today we were gonna go and see everyone from the wedding the pizzas at the pizza van and then we were gonna play golf with Cameron who is a PGA pro because he'd organized a lesson for us at Fairmont and then we were gonna have afternoon tea here so perfect excuse to come back but I literally can't actually get out of bed right now so we also just got a delivery of no on golf presents from Cameron so I feel really sad um, but perfect excuse to come back just really hope I don't vomit in the new car because that really will be an issue so this bag was in our room this is from the spa from a spa this is some incredible sleep masks and then we got our very own Fairmont golf hats and a note from Cameron. Oh, I feel like crying, saying he can't wait to meet us and play golf. So sad. I'll try to arrange some nice weather, he said. <laughs> we got a Fairmont candle and our very own Fairmont golf things. So I'm really sad because... Matt loves golf and he went to the driving range um, while he was here but we were really looking forward to this golf lesson so gutted. Left this as well which is so thoughtful. How the guys probably know that I'm back in London. I'm so sorry the Scotland vlog ended so abruptly. Our trip to Scotland ended ridiculously abruptly because in the last clip you saw I was not very well. It basically just lasted for a few hours in the early morning. Um, over 50 times <laughs> and then I felt a bit nauseous on the drive home but then we made it home so I'm really sorry that the vlog ended so abruptly I didn't even get to show you half the things I wanted to do and we had to cancel our golf lesson and our afternoon tea so an excuse to go back and we didn't even get to meet our friends that we met at the wedding again the following day because obviously I just didn't feel well enough so sorry about that but I will go back to St Andrews Scottish food and Scottish people are the best so we did have a good time until the trip was cut short but thank you so much for watching this vlog all my love